Hello, I'm glad to see you today. This is Pastor David. We are here at the Community Church of Mount Pleasant, and I appreciate you letting us visit with you each week in the middle of our week so that we can come fellowship a little bit. So let me just catch you up a little bit. Last week was amazing here at CCMP. It was a busy week. It was a fun week. We had our vacation Bible school here at uh, the mill, and we also had our vacation Bible school in Nicaragua. Our missions team was there doing, so we were doing VBS in two different countries. Pretty cool. And so I'm thankful for the impact that uh, our church is able to have, not just here in this place, but literally around the world. So uh, thank you for coming, helping, being faithful. Volunteers were awesome. Sunday was a great day. Uh, really good attendance in the summertime. Our attendance has been way up from, from our normal averages. And uh, just been a great summer. Hard to believe we're closing in on the end of July. Uh, and we're getting ready for fall, believe it or not. And so we're getting geared up for that here at the community church. And just a couple things this week. We have a busy weekend coming up. Saturday morning is our men's prayer breakfast right here on our campus. We have a guest speaker uh, this Saturday, Coach Mike Johns, who's the high school coach at Mount Pleasant High School, football coach. He'll be sharing with us a little devotional, and uh, I'm, I'm excited. I want you to come in here, Mike. I want you to meet him. Uh, he's a great friend, and uh, right after our men's breakfast, we're going over to the United Methodist Church here in town, and we're going to do Rise Against Hunger. Now, uh, for those who do not come to the men's breakfast, 9 o'clock at the United Methodist Church for Rise Against Hunger. We will be working with other churches from all around the area and preparing meals. Uh, our goal is 50,000 meals, so we need many volunteers. I think we already have over 40 people signed up to help just from our church, so... It's going to be a great time. I hope you'll come Saturday, 9 o'clock, at the United Methodist Church. Uh, it's going to be an awesome time. This Sunday, this is part two of our new series, um, Bible Stories. My favorite Bible stories last week was Noah and the Ark. This week is the story of Joseph. God meant it for your good. Don't miss this Sunday. It's going to be awesome. We'll also have a report from our missions team. We'll see pictures and hear about their trip to Nicaragua going to be a great weekend. I can't wait. And then coming up next weekend is a big activity. It's the Back to School Bash. This will be our second year. It's huge. It's right here at the mill. Uh, you'll hear more about that later. Well, let me share a little devotional thought with you this morning. I want to encourage you, and I want to talk to you about work ethic. Now, I know that's a bad, scary word for some people, but work. Work ethic. Is your work ethic important? You know what? God says it's very important. He talks about being faithful in your work. I want you to look. Luke chapter 16, there's a passage, an interesting parable. And it talks about a person's work ethic. Listen to this. Luke 16 verse 10. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. If you have not been faithful in Unright in unrighteous work, who will commit to your trust the true riches? If you have not been faithful in that which is another man's, who shall give you that which is your own? Here's the point. If you can't do the little jobs well, God is not going to give you an opportunity to the bigger things. Joseph, a story that we're going to learn about this Sunday. Joseph went from the pit to the palace. You know why? Because of his work ethic. His brothers threw him in a pit. They sold him into slavery. So he became a slave. He worked hard. He didn't get discouraged. He didn't quit. He didn't just slide by. He worked with excellence. He was recognized. He was promoted. And eventually he became the number two person ruler in all the land of Egypt because of his work ethic. It is important how you do your work. You do everything that you do, God said, whether therefore you eat or drink or whatever you do, you do it to the best of your ability. People will notice. You will get promoted in many, many areas. Your, your needs will be met. Watch your work ethic. God will promote you if you do the little things with excellence. There are no little jobs. Whatever it is your hands find to do, you make it the best. Be diligent in the details. This week, work on excellence in your work ethic. Sometimes you may think, nobody notices, nobody cares, I don't have to do that. No, you do your best. God notices, 
people notice, and you will be blessed. I can't wait to see you this Sunday. Come to breakfast Saturday. It's going to be a great weekend. We love you here at CCMP. I hope to see you soon.